And today I want to be bringing on someone very special uh, to do an interview with. And um, I've been thinking about how can I how can I teach people and support people and bring some of the best people online that I can speak with, that can share their health principles, or they can share simple ways that will help you be able to resolve pain, resolve stiffness in the body, uh, be able to choose the right foods, choose the right skincare. Um, and the person that I want to bring on today is somebody that I met at Life Mastery, um, Tony Robbins Life Mastery. And if you haven't been to Life Mastery, please get yourself down there. It's one of my favorite programs. I, I can't even count how many times I've been to it. So the person I'm bringing on uh, right now is a lovely man called John Maguire, and he's just asked to um, come online. So I'm just gonna wait. Uh, the person I'm bringing on is John Maguire, who uh, I've, I've learned about his principles at Life Mastery. Hey, John, I'm just Hello. gonna listen a little bit about you. Is that okay? Absolutely. So, uh, so I've learned I've learned some about about some of his principles about life mastery about um, uh, working with tension points and resolving stiffness and things like that. But I met him live in August when I went to Tenerife, and uh, I literally he spoke live in Tenerife about life mastery, and I was absolutely fascinated about some of the things that he was talking about. So welcome, John, uh, to this Facebook Live, and John is a, an applied skin physiologist, is that right, John? Actually, why don't you introduce yourself, John? Yep. Yeah, what I do is I work with the body's energies by utilizing muscle testing to find out where there's energy blocks in the body. See, energy runs the body, it runs, in fact, everything's energy, but when we can alter the flow of energy in the body, we can quickly eliminate pain, we can optimize our energy, we can find out uh, what things are in our environment or in our diet that are blocking our energy and what brings us energy. So it's a great diagnostic tool to find out how we can be at peak health and performance. Yeah. How long have you been practicing uh, life um, About 40 years. So, you know, when I was on training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> do it now let's have everyone turn your head to the right and see if there's any stiffness in the neck and turn it to the left okay and then see how that feels now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rolled over part of the ear and just unroll it like this see how I'm doing okay. pulling up and so everyone do that yeah. and you can do it on both ears I'm just showing it on one so you can see so what I'm doing is yeah. I'm pulling, as well, pull the air away from the opening. Now this has several effects, but one thing to note is that the ears act as antennae for the acupuncture meridian system, which is a major highway of the body's bioelectrical energy known as chi. So this chi energy that flows through the body, gets blocked, and just doing this is also a great energizer. But after you do that about three or four times, then you can turn the head and neck again and see if it goes further. Wow. <laughs> I just got a lot. Of it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, wow. what it is that it affects the nerves going down. And see, again, energy blockage is what's basically at the core of all symptoms and challenges. Now, when you unblock energy, and this is one way of unblocking energy, then the stress is relieved from your neck. So one of the major uh, tips that I give people is to, whenever you're feeling stiff neck, unroll the ears. Another thing is when you have jet lag 
and this has been remarkable. I, I know, Holly, you've shared about your experience. Well, that hurts chime in in a bit. But for jet lag, you add one more feature. You take the left side of the rib cage right around where if you bend your elbow at a right angle, it goes in and you're straight down from the armpit. Rub this acupressure point. It's known as spleen 21. It's another way energy comes in the body. It's a major energy uh, siphon that brings energy from our surroundings into the body. So when you rub that, yeah. right as soon as you land, and then yeah. about 20 seconds on that, then you do the ear roll unrolling three times. You repeat that whole routine a couple more times, and it resets your body clock to be in the time zone that you've arrived at. Because every wow. two hours, our body has, we have 12 primary meridians, and every two hours of 24-hour clock, our body it has a specific meridian, which is the energy pathway, commonly named for organs, like we have a heart meridian, we have a lung meridian, we have a kidney meridian. Well, in that two-hour period, your body says, this is the meridian that should be its peak. But when you've gone, uh, let's say, across the pond, and now you're in a new time zone, the, the Earth energy, and we get energy from the Earth and where the sun's positioned in the sky, says this meridian should be its peak. But if your body says, but wait a minute, where we just came from, this is the meridian that should be at that time. So this, doing this technique, rubbing here, unrolling the ears three times, resets your body clock. So that's another benefit yeah. of the ear unrolling technique. And Holly, wow. here because she she flies all over. She's uh, my assistant, Holly. You, you met in Thursday. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. So I um, I'm one of John's students, and also uh, his assistant, marketing manager, uh, go to person at Kinesiology Institute. And so I do a lot of traveling, both with John and uh, for some of my other clients, and lately a lot of international traveling. So I suffered from horrible jet lag. So just that little trick, the Spleen 21 in the ear unrolling, really does the trick. So even when I go somewhere like Dubai, literally on the other side of the globe, I find that I don't get those horrible jet lag symptoms anymore, which is great. Well, that, that tip alone, I know, is going to... But it's certainly going to help me because flying over to the States and then um, to the States again and to the States again, I always find that when I come back or when I'm flown in, things get a bit, uh, it takes me a bit longer just to get get myself into the zone. Yeah. Um, so thank you for sharing that. And uh, so if it's a bit, if you feel a little bit of tension under the spleen, that means it needs to be worked on, right? Typically, yeah. yeah, the point is tender. John, yeah. you want to talk about that? Yeah, it's basically when, ener when there's energy blockage, you'll feel tenderness. And the greater the tenderness, generally the greater the extent of the blockage. So that's a, a and even, you know, like I mentioned, you've got several effects of the ear unrolling technique and the Spleen 21 is an energy booster. So if you're noticing during the day, Jim, just dropping energy, rub Spleen 21 and then... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put this down there. Anyway, I had a little call coming in. So rub Spleen 21 and unroll the ears, and yeah. that could be an energy booster as well. So you got your jet lag, your neck releasing tension, and then also getting more energy. Now, one thing you can do is when you're finding difficulty following someone's conversation, also the ear unrolling technique helps your auditory input and retention. So that's oh, wow. Yeah, so, so, so like if we're teaching, if we're teaching in class, then if I can get my students to start rolling their ears. Absolutely. That's what I do. One of the first <laughs> things when we start a lecture, I have everyone unroll their ears. In fact, there's a system called educational kinesiology, and they teach this to teachers in classrooms with children, and they call this the thinking caps. So the teachers will say before the class starts, Okay, children, let's all unroll our thinking caps and put on our thinking caps. And that's a, a technique that can help that, too. So it's just one little simple yeah. technique that has myriads of benefit. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. So I know we're going to do a series of these once a month, but yeah. I just wanted to, you to talk a little bit more about... Um, the body's, uh, I, I call it intelligence, right? Because that's what kinesiology uses, his ability to know what's right for us, 
working on the one for us. Can you talk a little bit more about that? The body's intelligence? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Well, yes. We have yeah. an innate intelligence that runs the body. It knows exactly what to do to carry out these myriads of metabolic functions, you know, how to digest our food, how to uh, eliminate an illness, um, how to heal the body. So this body intelligence, our body has a blueprint of what is ideal health and performance. Now there's three things that block the body's intelligence from being carried out. Basically it's stress in various forms of how we live, like not getting enough sleep, not getting proper exercise, um, also what we eat, so the, our diets, and then how we think, which is major in Tony's work, you know, our mindset. And they show how people with the right mindset turn on the body's intelligence to allow it to carry out to eliminate disease. But if you have the wrong mindset, you actually create a biochemical and energetic environment that then creates disease. So what we're doing yeah. is using muscle testing to tap into the body's intelligence. And that's what I teach in my seminars, how you can find out when a particular thought or focus of your mind or belief that is depleting your energy and a belief that can enhance your energy, for instance. Also, yeah. Food, yeah. we test foods to see... I just want to stop you there for a moment because I'm getting messages to say there's background noise. And I think it's, they say it's coming my head, but I can't hear anything. So I'm just going to try and put some headphones in, and hopefully we don't get cut off. So just bear with me a second. Okay, you might be getting echo, I see. Are you getting echo as well? No. So let me just see if no. But I know how that happens, because if your speaker is playing me or mine, it could be coming from our end too. So if we have to, we can go to earbuds. I'm going to go to earbuds. Hang on a sec. So um, thank you, Carl, uh, when I speak. So maybe it is. Uh... Okay. Okay, go for it. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you fine and see if that's eliminated the echo. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So, um, let me see if I can hook this on properly. I don't really like these earbuds, but we're going to have to deal with them. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. I know I stopped you in flow. So, we're talking about the body's intelligence in uh, being able to understand. Um, What's right, and, and we were talking about this actually because we were talking about when when the homeostasis when the homeostasis is gone and when the balance of the body is gone, uh, the body really understands how to do this, right? The body understands yeah. when it's gone, and, and we can start to tap into that yeah, to bring back itself. some of that balance. Yeah, the body can heal itself, and the major way it can heal itself is we provide it with energy flow so all these pathways particularly in the acupuncture yeah. meridian system but there's about 32 different energy systems within the body and so in kinesiology yeah. we are switching on all the energy systems so that energy can flow when energy flows symptoms go away naturally the symptoms are just an expression of energy blockage and especially yeah. we keep the body tuned up to help peak health and performance, it eliminates diseases from developing. And the, the problem in our yeah. society is uh, Western medical approach has been, oh, just wait until your body falls apart and then we'll see what we can do to try and put Humpty Dumpty back together again. But the problem is they're yeah. treating sick, yeah. which is like putting masking tape on your dashboard when you get a warning light. But we see is yeah. we don't treat disease or illnesses, we see where energy is blocked, and through the muscle yeah. testing, it can tell us that. What's causing the blockage, which is primarily eating, living, and thinking, as well as bringing the spiritual essence to a higher level. Because even there, we find yeah. to bring your vibrational frequency up, 
then the body's intelligence has so much more power to heal itself and to be at peak state. Yeah, totally. So will you just give us a little demonstration of that, how we can test some energy? And, uh, yeah, let's do a little thing here. We're going to test. Now I'm going to use a muscle test here where she's going to meet my pressure. So keeping the elbow straight, I just push gently on the arm, ready and hold. Okay. Now I can touch specific points on her body. So come on a little more force. And I can see if there's energy blockage on specific acupressure points. So I'm touching here, I'm gonna to touch a point in the back of the neck. And, oh, that's going. Now this point is gallbladder 20. And it's often great for headaches. Do you have any headache going on? Not right now, but I have them on and off. Yeah, so you don't have to have this blocked, meaning it'll result in a headache. But if you do, this is a great point for headaches. If you turn around, I'll show where it's at. So it's right at the top of the neck just in this little hollow here, right below the spine. So come up a little closer here. And that point is commonly blocked on people, especially that have headaches. And didn't you say you had a headache once that when yeah. you took, did this? Okay, so again, when I touch here and it goes weak, that says energy blockage. So if anyone, even if you're just at, at, you know, watching, rub right back here, and I'll rub it on her. Now when you do acupressure in this case, rubbing it firmly in little circles, like kind of going around, I have my thumb there going around in a circle like that, it helps to unblock the energy. Now, is that tender there? Yeah, right? it is tender. Okay, again, the greater the tenderness, the greater the extent of the blockage. So this is the way, again, of muscle testing to ask, is the energy flowing, the muscle will test strong, or is the energy blocked? The muscle will then switch off. And so that biofeedback from the muscle tells us how the energy is. So after doing that about 20 seconds, I can touch again and say, hey, very good. Yeah. So that's an, an example of an acupressure point on the body. Now we can also do that with uh, foods, for instance. So in this case, you can yeah. think of a food. So let's have you think of, um, how about you have a milk chocolate you like? Uh, yeah, I go more for dark, but... Okay, go for dark. Okay, I'll Just think, think of a specific one you like. Thank okay. you, dark chocolate. Okay, see how you test on that. Okay, yeah, and that one's okay. pretty healthy. Okay. Okay, so let's try a Hershey's Kiss. You okay. know what those taste like? Mm -hmm. Think about that, like you can just taste it in your mouth. Hold on that one. Oh, okay. See, not all chocolates are created equal. <laughs> in fact, people will often yeah. test dark chocolate than, say, milk chocolate. Of course, the sugar is the factor, too, but do you have a fairly healthy dark chocolate that you eat? I get really high-quality dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Well, let's try, um, uh, let's try a, a belief. Okay. Okay, so we're going to um, just come up with, say, um, a thing that you're wanting to see if your body is congruent with. Okay, how about... Um, Uh, I can, uh, I can, I can double my income in the next year. How about that? Okay, yeah. So let's see if her body agrees with that at this point. Okay. So I can double my. I can in double my income in the next year. See what it says. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> now it says no, but that doesn't. Mean we can't correct that. What it's asking is her body congruent with that belief, and so her subconscious mind, yeah. which is what we're talking into. I don't think that can, yeah. can. However, there's a temporal tapping yeah. technique that you can do and tap right over the so, temple. So just, yeah. Go so, ahead. John, does it mean she's got a limiting belief? Well, she's got some subconscious sabotage program, or at least she hasn't created congruency on that to happen. So one, there's a lot more involved, but I'm trying to make it simple and quick where people can use this. So she's going to tap yeah. over the right side, and she'll say a negative statement, say, I have no limitations to creating, to doubling my income in the next year. So say that. I have, I have no limitations to doubling my income in the next year. Three times. No limitations to doubling my income in the next year. I have no limitations to doubling my income in the next year. And then on the left side, we put a positive statement in, and she says, I 
create or I double my income within the next year. I will double my income within the next year. I do double my income. I do double my income within the next year. I can easily double my income. I can easily double my income in the next year. Okay, let's see if we've created a shift. So, I felt something there. Yeah, and often people say, whoa, something, the life Something just happened. Okay, so say that again. So say I double my income within the next I year. I double my income within the next year. And now she's strong. So those are right. little tips <laughs> And you can do this on a lot of stuff. The temporal tapping can work on even eliminating addictions. So like say someone that smokes um, and a lot of it is about identity. You know that from Tony. We will do more than anything stay consistent with our identity. So if you have an identity of being a smoker, a person would, if they test, I'm a non-smoker and they go weak. Well, there's more involved again yeah. to go further, but the bottom line is that person could tap, I no longer need cigarettes. I no longer need cigarettes. And then they could tap in, I do perfectly fine without smoking. I do perfectly fine. I feel relaxed and, and calm without cigarettes. You know, I no longer need cigarettes. I'm no longer a smoker. And the no is on the right side, the, a positive statement on the left. And it programs it deep within the subconscious. Because the subconscious yeah. runs like 95% of our behavior. And we do things yeah. consciously, we're driven to it. Well, when you shift, and I've experienced this, you've experienced this as well, mm -hmm. where if you shift the programming within your, your consciousness, you just don't do things you used to be driven to do. And that's what a lot of us yeah. need to do, to eliminate these habits and these patterns like a pattern interrupt that says okay we just reprogram the subconscious and now we're driven to uh being a healthy happy joyous contributing individual i use this technique in your psychology course and i did it for i wanted an international client because i hadn't i didn't have any international clients so i said we'll get an international client in the next year or whatever it was i said yeah um and within a few months i had three international clients yeah, so. it's just a magic wow. In fact, uh, just a little back up to where I started working with Tony Robbins. I created a uh, goal in 1993. So I'd been to Tony's programs. He didn't know who I was. And I created a goal and affirmed it in a similar way. And I said, within the next year, I will work with Tony Robbins. Six months later, out of the blue, who calls? Tony Robbins' office saying, Tony wants you to come and present it as Next Life Mastery. And that was 1994, 25 years ago. And I just created wow. you know, energy. And, and we see, our systems are like magnetic attractor fields. What you focus on is mm. where energy flows. Tony says that. Where focus yeah. goes, energy yeah. flows. And when you create a belief, a congruent belief, because that's a part of the magnet. If you don't believe it, it, it repels it. But if you believe it deep within your subconscious and then you focus on it, that's what you attract and magical things occur. And I've had so many times yeah. that that's happened. Once I raised my consciousness yeah. below the levels of um, reactive mind. See, that's the key, too. You are, it's also to be okay with whatever happens rather than addicted. I've got to have it happen my way. I've got to have it happen my way. So you breathe, you release the attachment to the result, and then you bring your consciousness up, and things just flow so much better. Yeah. yeah. I did the same so thing. So I'm actually going to stop you there. Because we don't want to give everything. So yeah, we don't want to give everything away this week. Yeah. Um, hey, that means you're gonna make more money. Yeah. So yeah. So um, I think you know what you've actually gone through today is um, some fantastic stuff. If you haven't watched this video. What you will learn earlier in this video is how you can uh, alleviate jet lag. Yeah, and stiffness in the neck. How you can how you can relieve the stiffness around your neck. How you can double your income within the next year. <laughs> um, there's quite a lot of things that you can learn from this, and obviously everything will happen only if you take action. 
So John and I are going to be running these videos once a month. And next month we've got an amazing topic where um, I'll, I'll actually post it out there this week. You really want to be on this call. And if you've got any questions, I'm going to welcome questions that John can ask. ask. Sorry, John can answer. So, um, John, I don't know if you have anything uh, that you want to say. Well, just that, as you pointed out, it's action and putting this into daily routine and making it a habit. Mm -hmm. So I, I set my life up for little, simple daily disciplines. It was Jim Rohn, Tony's mentor, who said the key to success is doing simple daily disciplines. So in the morning, mm -hmm. you can unroll the ears. I'll, I'll keep giving you things each month, but as you learn one technique, you know, if you're sitting at a traffic light uh, in your car and you can unroll the ears, or if you're at the uh, dentist's office waiting to go in or whatever, you know, just unroll your ears frequently throughout the day and keep boosting your energy. And of course, when you land, the first thing you do is you rub your spleen 21 and unroll the ears. So just keep using this and each month will give you more and more techniques. And then the temporal tapping. What is it you're wanting to let go of? What is it you're wanting to install in your subconscious? It's just simply two fingers tapping about a couple centimeters right over the ear, just front to back like that. And it, just using it, that's the key. Put it into action, just so, like you said. So the left, the left is what you want to let go of, and the right is what you want to bring in. Okay, perfect. Well, the left okay. is a positive statement. Like, I, make, I double my income in the next year. And then a yeah. statement so, on the right. Like, I no longer need to smoke. I no longer need uh, whatever the habit is. I no longer have a limiting belief about being able to do this. So no on the right, okay. positive on the left. And also, here's one last thing, is share it with others. Because when you give it away and teach it to other people, it multiplies the effect as well as it helps that sixth human need of contribution, contributing to others, especially yeah. your kids. Like my daughter is so phenomenally uh, balanced. And she's around all of these, all of her friends are freaking out and having all these teenage challenges. She's 16. And she's like, just like this little Zen master, you know? So I yeah. share all this with her. And, uh, and so share it with your kids, share it with everybody that you come across. Yeah. And that way um, you learn it better too by teaching it to others. Brilliant. Well, thank you, John, for coming on tonight. I know we've been trying to do this for about, yeah, yeah. yeah when we're come, come on, Holly. If you go to kinesiologyinstitute.com and you put in your name and your email address, you'll get a free mini three-day course with three short videos. And then you'll also get a special deal on uh, John's fundamentals course. Yes. And Brilliant. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll put this on the video as well. Yeah. Great. And I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the link on the video. Great. I'll look forward to seeing you then next month. Thank you, John. And we'll fabulous stuff to share with you. It's so great. Thank you. I really appreciate you bringing me your Facebook uh, video share, and we'll uh, keep this rolling. My Bye. honor and my pleasure. Speak to you soon, John. Okay. Be well. God bless. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.